Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hollywood Actress Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. I'm your host, as always, Jennifer Lynn Warren, coming at you just north of Hollywood, California. Gary Vaynerchuk, he's this crazy high energy entrepreneur, you may have heard of him. Um, he does a daily motivational podcast that he repeats himself a lot, but like he says, he'll keep repeating it until you actually do what he says. But he does have this great quote. He says, look, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I think he's right. But there's also the other side of that. You've you got to make your own stuff happen. And just think, when, when we are old and we're sitting in our proverbial rocking chairs, and we look back on our lives, it's the memories for what we did that we will cherish the most. And when I'm trying to make a decision, when I'm like, do I really want to fly across the world, world to do one scene in this film? I'm like, well, when I'm sitting in my rocking chair, am I going to be more excited about the fact that I stayed in LA for another week doing just typical LA stuff that I will have forgotten or will I have that memory of that time I flew somewhere and got to do this incredible scene? I'm going to want to fly, even though in the moment it may seem like a financial hindrance or whatever it is. The rocking chair thing, like I, I don't remember where I learned it, but I have used it in my life so many times. Do I want to do this? Picture myself when I'm old, looking back. Will old me wish I had done this? Probably. So. If I wish I would have done it, I'd go and do it. Let's talk about some science. I know, please don't turn me off. Some of you are like, oh, you talk a lot about science all the time, but science is cool. Do you remember learning about Pavlov's dog in science class where the dog was pretty much trained anytime you would ring a bell, the dog knew that it was getting fed. And I know a lot of you have animals out there and if you do this one thing or you say this word, or you make the sound, your, your dog's jumping all over the place because they're excited because they think a thing's about to happen because this other thing happened, right? You can do this to yourself. <laughs> you can train your brain to react. Now, here's the dark side of that as actors. If the only thing you're doing is getting rejected in auditions, you're telling your brain that every time you do this acting thing, it's going to hurt. So you have to create happy memories around acting so that you continue to have a positive response. So many bitter actors out there, I wonder why. So this is another reason why being in classes or having good friends who support you or being on We Audition, or helping as many other people get what they want, as we talked about at the top of this month, as you can, helping other people get what they want, they, that will help create the memories and positive brain stimulus that will help keep depression and lethargy at bay. So real talk, I was really depressed at the top of this month. And what's really interesting about that is I had just booked a film for Amazon Studios, but I was still feeling depressed. And I had realized that a lot of the feedback, even though, yeah, great, I had this booking, but there was too many other negative things going on in my life. And, and I worked really hard to change that. And I'm in a much, 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 much better place now. And I was thinking about that today, which is what made me want to do this particular topic. I think a huge thing that can help us is producing. Now, I know that producing can seem like an expensive process, and depending on where you are in your career, it can be. If you are just starting up and still non-union, no one can stop you from making your own films. Take your phone, go shoot a one-minute scene with a friend. Now, it's probably not going to be great, and that's wonderful. It means there's a lot to learn and your next scene will be much better. But how good are you going to feel at the end of the day, hanging out with your buddy, shooting a film? You're going to feel a hell of a lot better. 
than doing yet another audition you're going to get rejected from? And how are you going to feel the next day after you spent your day make you know working on this thing you love with your friend and then you get an audition that positivity that you're feeling that's still radiating from the day before is going to come out in your audition tape the best way to predict the future of your career is to create it yourself oh i know i know it's true but you hate it don't you you hate it let's talk about what makes an artist and what makes an actor and what makes it possible to predict your future and to make the career that you're about to create for yourself. What is the moment that you think makes it that you've earned the right to call yourself an actor? I, I think, for me personally, it's the moment you start creating whether someone is paying you or not. And now you need to answer this question for yourself. But I think if you're like, I am an actor and I am not going to wait for anybody else to call me an actor, but I'm actually going to go do actor things. I am going to take the actor classes. I'm going to read the actor books and I am going to start performing even if it's just for my cat. I think that makes you an actor. Now, on the other hand, going back to producing, producing doesn't have to be all about acting. Some actors find that they are happier when they are creating things that they are not as emotionally attached to. So I know many actors who find painting to be a great passion of theirs. Writing screenplays is certainly not a new idea for actors to do. It can be very liberating to write down the stories you want to tell and the characters you want to play. There is an amazing actress I know who hand raises chickens and takes them to retirement homes and puts on a bird show. I kid you not. You can find her on Instagram under Chris's Feathered Friends, spelled with a K. Chris is spelled with a K. Chris's Feathered, it's, she's hysterical. I mean, hysterical. She literally takes birds that live at her house that are trained and just, she dyes them different colors and like she helps old people and it and it's helped her career she's done so many commercials because people know that she's the bird lady and they hire her all the time so what other artistic outlets are you interested in i promise it'll help you deal with downtime especially if you're lucky enough to eventually be a working actor that's the other side of it you start working you work enough so that you can quit your survival job but you may not be working enough to fill in all of these idle hours where you're wondering if you're ever going to be working again. And science also says that if you are a creative person and you are not expressing yourself creatively, that you can actually make yourself sick. It can cause depression. It can cause you to catch colds. It can cause like cold sores to, to like all these things can start popping up in your health in your body because there are so many of us I know everyone listening you're like this if you're not creating something you don't feel right you don't feel well it's hard to get out of bed it's hard to do anything or you just you just don't feel right it's because you need to express yourself creatively and I don't care if that means painting. I don't care if that means producing, acting. And yeah, I'm going to tell you every, every single episode, you can jump on We Audition right now. Work as a reader for free for somebody. Practice your cold reading skills. Get to play a character and get to connect with another human being and another actor out there. It is a, an instant dopamine hit. Instant. And we all need that. So we are still... Sponsored by weaudition.com, promo code HAG25, H-A-G-2-5 to get 25% off of your lifetime membership. I am on there. I do help actors on there. We can set up an appointment if you want to work with me directly. Weaudition.com, promo code HAG25. So that's all I have for you um, pretty much for the rest of March. 
I am not sure when my April episodes will come back as I will be in New Orleans, but we shall see when I come back. I will try to start popping them on again. So that's it. That's 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 life. Podcasts come and go, <laughs> but we will back. I will be back. I will. I say we like I have a team. It's just me. I do all the editing and everything. <laughs> it's just me. I'll be back. Though you hear my cat occasionally. That's it, everyone. Break a leg out there and remember you are not alone. <laughs>